Hello, my SEOs. My name is Kiko, and today we need to discuss some major seismic shifts we had this Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So sit back, relax, and keep on wrapping those presents you'll say you paid full price for, but bought for at a third of the cost over the weekend because this is the sauce brought to you by posirank.com. So Black Friday and Cyber Monday came along and this is what we've learned. This year, there has been a 68% increase over 2021 sales. But what might surprise you is from whom? As it turns out, Gen Zers were the biggest shoppers. And given that it's Gen Z, it shouldn't shock you that most of the shopping was done online. Most Gen Zers opted to shop from home for their deals as opposed to going to the store. However, that doesn't mean that that wasn't a hefty amount of people who went shopping in the stores. About 30% of shoppers overall still opted for shopping inside the old fashioned way. And I can't believe that that's considered old fashioned now. While 64% of the people shopped online, which was a 42% increase from 2021, but a staggering 42% of those sales were from smartphones which was a 2% increase over the previous year. So what does that tell us, SEOs? Well, nothing that we didn't already know, but probably something that we need to consider even more. And that is that mobile is going to be the new king, next to content, of course. It's more like the Kelly Rowland and the Destiny's Child of SERPs factors. Michelle Williams is, of course, the technical factor, obviously. Girl can sing. So. Here are the top three things you need to work on to make sure that your site is optimized for mobile so that you can end up at the top of search results and be able to pay them bills, 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 bills. First off, you wanna make sure that Google can access your content faster. And that means you need to use the same meta tags on your mobile site as you do on your desktop site. Don't lazy load primary content and let Google crawl your resources. These three things basically help direct the crawlers through your site. So if you don't have the right metadata, URLs and JavaScripts, Google may fail to crawl and index your page, causing you to rank lower and lose sales in the end. Secondly, you wanna make sure that your mobile content is the same as your desktop content. Content is king, and if your mobile and desktop content aren't matching, then Google may fail to index if it can't get much or the same information. This means updating your mobile site if it isn't the same as your desktop, and using the same headings, descriptions, and visual content across the board so that you can be crawled easier and faster that way you rank higher in SERPs. And the third and final thing you want to do is make sure your visual content is in line with Google's guidelines. And this goes for both video and picture content. That means you need to make sure you have high quality images that are not low resolution. Use the right formatting for all of your images. And don't use URLs that change every time the page loads for an image and use the same text descriptions for images and videos as you do for your desktop site. Basically, what all three of these guidelines are saying is that Google wants continuity. Make sure your content from desktop to mobile remains the same and of high quality. Just think of it like Google's bots are lazy and don't wanna work that hard to find your information. And I mean, can you blame them? They're always crawling and they have to go to some pretty dark places. Poor little guys. They haven't been the same since Will Smith and the Oscars. <laughs> hey SEOs, thank you for watching. We know that there's more to this sauce than we can put in this video. So make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future episodes and tutorials where we go more into depth on how the sauce is made. So you can be the best SEO you can be. Till then, my name is Kiko. Have a great day.